from Austin, Texas at the tech gathering of the year. They call it Spring Break for Geeks. Rackspace, the open cloud company, presents the Scobalizer with the movers, the doers, shaking things up and impacting our world. Now, Robert Scoble. We're getting around every uh, half an hour or so, I'm getting around and talking to some cool entrepreneurs who are doing some cool stuff. And now we have uh, Kias, uh, which helps you uh, at, at your company play games to help you get healthier, which helps your company save money on healthcare costs, but it also helps your company be more productive because, uh, well, they're not all drinking all the time. <laughs> so uh, who are you? My name is Josh Stevens, I'm CEO of Kias. Yeah, and so what, what's going on at Kias? So what is Kias? So Kias is an engagement platform for the enterprise. So by making um, healthcare social and fun, and making healthcare something that employees can engage both um, against their own goals and with other employees on teams, yeah. they can actually participate every day in a productive, fun, entertaining way to actually help improve their own health and wellness. Very cool. So Kias I've seen before, we, we had uh, uh, you guys on the show before, and it's a, it's a way to get groups of people at work to play healthcare games against each other. What, tell me what, what I would do, at, let's say Rackspace bought Kias, what kinds of things would, would be set up for the employees at Rackspace? So, so first of all, we'd want to understand what are the company's goals and objectives. There's, a, there's an irony that in America, the biggest supplier of health care are American corporations. 100, 100 million Americans get their health care from a company. Yeah, and, and Microsoft, by the way, uh, when I worked at Microsoft, Microsoft funded its own health care, right? It didn't, self-insured. It, it was self-insured, and so they care, are you healthy, because you know, it hits every, their bottom line. It hits your bottom line. It, it increases if you get, uh, you know, uh, ill. First of all, you're not working. Exactly. <laughs> Second of all, you're in some hospital where it's, uh, I don't know, ten thousand dollars a day. And so, you know? so the average American company spends ten thousand dollars a year for every employee to provide health care. That times hundred million employees in America for the top uh, ten thousand companies is a trillion dollars a year in healthcare expense funded by companies. Yeah. 70% of those costs, $700 billion, preventable. Absolutely preventable, and that's what we're there to help for. So we help companies go after the 70% of costs they can actually eliminate, and by eliminating that cost, which is absolutely preventable, it can also help employees be at work, be more alert, be more present, and actually be a productive part of the workforce. At the same time, we can help the employees get incentives and rewards for being more healthy. Yeah. So in order to be at Kias, when you roll Kias out at, at Rackspace, you have to join a team to earn prizes. You can be a solo player, but what we've learned from rolling out to 100 companies is that when you're part of a team, you're six times more likely to participate in your own health. Because when you're on a team and the teams are eligible for prizes and you're holding back the team, the other members of your team pull you back in and they're like, hey, slacker, come back in. That social indignation, that sort of social bond between you and the team members to win so the team can get their prize, because it brings people back. What kind of prizes? So you can get, it depends on the company, it depends on the culture. Some companies have healthcare cost elimination down to zero deductible. Other companies will give away cash to the paycheck. Other companies will give away prizes like iPads and iPod touches. But the biggest incentive we've seen is actually the, uh, the glory of actually just winning, to be at the head of the leaderboard. Yeah. And we're seeing a major gender bias. If, if you're a male, winning on the leaderboard is a major plus. If you're female, actually just being part of something bigger than yourself is the big plus, being part of the social fabric. And so what we've learned as, we're, as we roll out to enterprises is that Facebook's banned in most big companies, and yet Kias is deployed by HR to every seat and has a, a social media experience. As employees start to work on their own health and wellness every day at work, challenging each other, a little bit of trash talk, competing on teams, trying to win prizes, comparing notes about what they had for lunch, who took a healthy break, took, took a walking meeting, all of a sudden a, a viral component starts to exist at work behind the firewall, and that social fabric is what keeps it going. Also being on teams is a kicker that keeps it going because the teams, being on teams is how you win, how you get your incentives and your prizes. And what we've seen is that if you actually can get people to join a team early on and you can get them to realize that they're actually going to help everyone else earn their incentives and their prizes, you can actually have a dramatic improvement on healthcare. You can actually reduce and manage the growth of healthcare costs. What, what kinds of, and you might give me a, a, just a look at what sure. kinds of uh, activities, what kinds of, let's say we were on a team together, what kinds of things would we be asked to do? Sure, so uh, here's an example of Kias. This is my own, my own account. Um, we have a home tab, profile tab, 
which is where you actually have information about yourself, your goals, your photo or avatar, and here's my weekly goals, walk 60 miles, lift weights, weight alcohol. Uh, team, as a team, here are members of my team, we all have goals that we've selected. We get points, as you can see here, against those goals, and the teams with the greatest points actually earn the incentives and the prizes. Now, how, now because everybody's gonna have a little bit different goal, I mean, somebody who weighs 300 pounds, their goal might be to lose 50 pounds. Absolutely. Somebody who's already a marathon runner, What's their go goal going to be? You know? so, so there has to be some indexing, and you have to okay. basically adjust for the for where the person is in their healthcare journey. Okay. Um, but that's what we do as part of the, the overall point system and to make it fair for everyone. Okay. Basically, we're looking at activity and participation to make small changes and small activity progress every day. And by making continued progress every day, we can create habits and habit formation. And if we can get to habit formation, we know we can help the corporation and the employee both lower cost and raise productivity. Right. So uh, my goals will be different than your goals. My activities will be different. Then, Absolutely. Right? You, you get to pick what works for you. So if I'm a slacker, how do you know that? As Because as, I'm a team member of yours. I'm a slacker. Well, how, how do you know that I'm a slacker? Does it report that the team isn't doing that well? Or what, what every, happens? Every day you report your activity. And okay. as you report your activity, you get points and, and credit for that activity. If you don't report for a few days, and our team falls in the rankings on the leaderboard, we can go to the leaderboard and take a look, for example. My team right now is Team Spirit. We're sixth on the leaderboard. We have 8250 points, and as a player, I'm ranked number 30. Yeah. Now, I can go to my team page if I want to get to number one on the leaderboard, and I can look and see how we're doing. Let's see here. Yeah, the Wi-Fi's a little slow. A little slow in the Wi-Fi. And just talking through. And basically, if, if you say you were on my team and you had less points than everybody else, I'd be like, Scoble, what's going on? We want to get you back in. And actually, I would send you a comment or a chat. I'd prod you, maybe a little bit of trash talk, a little bit of incentive talk to say, hey, when you hold back the team, everyone's being held back from winning. And so we bring you back in. Or we can motivate you say, I see you have these goals. Let's go for a walking meeting, and I'll help you go get that a goal achieved. Yeah. Because you know, I'm, we're mutually interested in actually achieving your goals so that we win, we win as a team. Yeah, no, that's really cool. What's happened to companies? You've had a hundred companies on this now for a couple of years, or a, a year. What, what, what's happened? What, what have companies reported to you that has happened because of this? Well, the most interesting uh, feedback we've had is companies have said to us, for 20 years they've had a, a real challenge and a problem trying to get employees to engage on their health and wellness. Um, if you think about it, healthcare, since it's provided by the company for most major American corporations. It's an unseen cost to the employee. So there's a disincentive to actually uh, focus on it because it's paid for. Um, once you have a social fabric and a way to actually get the employee to engage on taking care of themselves because they receive a benefit or an incentive, or they can help their, their fellow team member receive a benefit and incentive, all of a sudden you can get folks to participate. Um, this behavior of getting folks to do what they're supposed to do um, that's above and beyond their job description has been so compelling for our customers. They've said to us, can you take what you've done for health and wellness and can you do it for other applications in HR? Can you do this for open enrollment? Can you do this for benefit selection? Can you do this for compliance and training? Can you do this for anything that we have to get the employee to do by gamifying and making fun and social what they have to do? Because if it's fun and if it's social, they'll do it. If they get an incentive, they'll do even more of it. If it's boring and you're pushing information at them, which is often the old workflow yeah. of uh, HR applications, folks tend to shy away. And the insight that we've gleaned from talking to all of our customers is the number one activity that HR staff um, spend their time on is chasing the employees to do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. And if you can actually get... Believe the, me, I'm the one of the worst. I, I, I've been <laughs> Turning in my expense report. <laughs> it, it, choosing your benefits, yeah. finishing your enrollment, your onboarding, all yeah. the stuff that you're supposed to do. But if you make it fun and social, if you're actually on a team of you know, your new class of recruits who are coming in, or yeah. folks who are in your sales group, or folks who are in your product group, and you're actually gonna get an incentive not only for yourself, but for your family. If you can say to your spouse or your partner, we're gonna get free healthcare this year if we do this. Believe it or not, the spouse or the partner becomes the big catalyst for the employee to actually do what they're supposed to do. And Kias invites spouses and children into the game. Wow, very cool. So they're part of the game too. Absolutely. The number one wow. way to get an employee to do what they need to do is to make it fun, make it engaging and social, but also if you can include the, the dependents who actually receive the health care and they're a major part of the $10,000 cost per head per year, they're actually a major influence on the catalyst, on the employee. Wow. 
It's brilliant. I, I thought it was brilliant when I first saw it, and you know, I saw the kinds of results you were seeing from your early customers. Now it's had another year, year and a half to work, and it's uh, it's still a brilliant idea to me. Uh, what's what's the challenge now in your business? Because it's it's now rocking and rolling. It's done. You know, it's to a place where there's. You know, We're everything's built out pretty good and you got traction. I guess, what's the challenge at this point? So the next phase of growth for us is taking the product to the next level. So the company has been through three generations of product evolution. The first one was hardcore data and health plans, which were um, too much to read and people didn't read it. So that didn't work. The second generation was a pure social game, which while it drove employee engagement to record levels, the HR and the CFO, uh, HR executive and CFO said to us, well, where's the hard, where's the beef about the hard data about healthcare cost management? It just can't be a game. Tie it back to my claims cost. Yeah. So what we're doing now is we're saying, okay, let's take the best of the social game and let's take some of what we learned in the original iteration of the product where it was a health plan without all the boring uh, reading material and say, how do we ingest the data that we need to actually benchmark employees at the beginning with HRAs and biometrics let them play the game, participate against goals and objectives based on who they are in their HRA and biometrics, yep. and in a year, measure again. Now we can show the employer, up uh, to the CEO, CFO, um, how participation in the social game gets employees to do what they're supposed to do, yep. act on their own health, and manage claims cost. That's allowing us to raise price, and it's allowing us to go deeper into the workflows of HR. Very and so that's the next step for us. Very cool. How, how are you guys uh, hosted? Where are you guys hosted? We're on Heroku. Yeah, that's the second time I've heard that today. So, yeah, so it shows, by the way, at the Rackspace Open Cloud experience, we're trying to see the bleeding edge of companies, not just the companies that are on Rackspace, but we're trying to build a open source cloud that gets you off of Heroku. So. Well, we, we can certainly talk about that. What we're finding is that by being in the cloud, um, so first of all, our customer is HR, yeah. and they're, not, they're typically not a tech-savvy customer. They just want a turnkey solution that works. Yep. And because HR uh, deploys us, we roll out across every desktop in the enterprise. So we're one of the only SaaS applications we know that actually doesn't go line of business. We yep. go to everyone in the company that has healthcare, yep. which is most employees in most major enterprises. And so if we're going to roll out to every desktop and every smartphone in the enterprise, we have to be easy to use, turnkey, in the cloud. And if we, weren't a, if we were an on-prem company, we wouldn't have the traction that we, we have now. Because we can basically say to the HR executive, sign here, and we'll spin. We can integrate with your directory server, and we're up and running in a day. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, how much does this cost? Like a company of Rackspace size, five thousand employees. What would this cost us? What? So the the base key is platform is a couple bucks per head per month. So here's how we look at it. Your healthcare costs ten thousand dollars per head per year in the average American company. Yeah. We charge twenty five dollars per head per year for the basic platform without customization or integrations to other systems. Um, there are opportunities to buy up for biometrics, HRAs, integration with claims cost data, whatever you need as a customer. But the basic platform is we're saying for $25 a year per head, we can help you go after the $7,000 of healthcare cost. It's absolutely preventable because of healthy of habits that are not healthy or behaviors that are not healthy. Yeah. So $25 has a value prop as the buy-in against $7,000 of costs that are growing double digits per year. That's how we start. That makes and, sense. and once we're there, and every CFO in America understands this and accepts it, it's not, not a controversial argument. Yeah. Then the question is, uh, once we have that uh, program implemented, now let's measure productivity. Yeah. Every day that we can bring an employee back to the office, not only because they want to be there because they're part of the team, and because it's fun and social, and it's actually cool to be at work, 90% of Kia's employees say they actually want to be at the office now because they're playing with their team. Yeah. And they actually have a social fabric to participate versus being disconnected. Yeah. Because keep in mind, uh, and again, this is the, well, we would never say we seek to be a Facebook of the enterprise. The unintended consequence of being rolled out to every desktop in the name of healthcare is that every employee has to participate. And because they have to participate and other social networks are banned behind the firewall, all of a sudden we get a stickiness that creates a fabric behind the firewall of community no, that, that we sense. did not expect. And that's what's really pulling us through. I see that, right, right. I, I, I see that this would pull people in through the trash trucking and oh, hey, man. let's go for a walk. It, it, it causes you to be part of the social network and therefore you're going to use it for other things. I just, um, uh, I just on my own profile, I posted my dinner the other day. Yep. I had a lobster for dinner. When I was actually at Terminal 2, I had the, the green smoothie at, at the plant yep. at, uh, at Virgin America. But the other night, I actually had a lobster for dinner, posted it. Not only did I get a few likes, 
I got some comments from other players yeah. asking me where's the veggies, yeah. yep. come join us for dinner. This is the positive reinforcement that keeps it going for everyone. Today I posted walking around South by Southwest, Fitbit telling me 1.5 miles. Yeah. Told, being told, you know, get no two that miles That was my in. next question. I'm wearing a health sensor and that's a big trend here in South by Southwest. People are wearing, wearing Nike fuel bands or Fitbits or Jawbone Ups or uh, the basis watch. My basis is watching my heart rate, uh, my perspiration, my activity, and it actually tells me how many calories or how many steps I've done, stuff yep. like that. Are you thinking of how to use these devices to be reported right into this feed and yes. sort yes. of make an automatic, you know? Automatic. Active? Device yeah. integration is part of Kias. And does that freak out some of your customers no. that they want this kind of reporting from their, their employees? What we're seeing from our enterprise customers are two kinds of passive reporting they would like. Um, the first is um, badge integration at the workplace. Yeah. So in many enterprise, our target customers an enterprise with a thousand employees, and in most companies with more than a thousand employees, you have a badge that also serves as a meal card. Yeah. And when you go to the cafeteria and you pick uh, the fried chicken or you pick the broccoli, that SKU is coded into your meal, meal card and that can be reported back into Kias. Yeah. That, that's one. If you go to the fitness center, that access and entry to the fitness center is also recorded, you get credit for that, that's number two. But what if you want to have, uh, we, we recently met with a company um, in New Jersey that built a walking track of two miles around its campus. Yeah. And they said, we'd like to actually have credit for our employees in the, in the social game when they use the walking track. Can we do that? And we said, absolutely. So we integrate with the badge system so they can actually get credit for participating on the walking track. Of course, we had to put the, uh, the badge plate at the end of the track, at the furthest point from the entrance so that there would be no, uh, you could manage behavior. But, um, but that's how you do it. So passive reporting through just badging or through the Wi-Fi of Fitbits um, and other devices that you can carry with you, absolutely part of the program. And it's, it's up to the employer. Yeah. Um, but our view is self-reported is a good way to start. Um, device integration is a great way to add on. Um, having all these things is part of what we call the 360 of wellness. So we can actually incorporate the cafeteria, the fitness center, um, self-reported data, and device-reported data. So you can actually see the whole 360 of what someone's trying to do. Yeah. And then during the, during the year, we change challenges and content. So editorially, we have a month by month schedule. So in January, February, March, every month there's a different challenge, different content, different articles about nutrition, mind, body, fitness, so that you can basically figure, you know, have different incentives and ways to get off the couch, uh, take a walking meeting, uh, have something healthy for dinner, for lunch, you know, just to get motivated because folks need to, folks won't read a lot, we, we know that. Um, it's the above the fold rule. Yeah. Um, but info snacking that's you know turned over every week, every month, served fresh content to get folks to engage is what works. So we're providing both the editorial layer magazine for the enterprise and providing a, a platform that integrates devices, the cafeteria, the fitness centers, and self-reported goals. Very cool. Makes a lot of sense. I think it's a great idea. I, I, I'm going to push it at Rackspace. So good luck. Thanks, dude. Hopefully you'll land this as a customer soon. Um, where do you learn more about it? So to learn more about it, go to kias.com, K-E-A-S, K-E-A-S.com. Yeah, very cool. Thanks for coming in and showing to me. Great progress. Thanks Sounds so much. like things are rocking and rolling. It's awesome. We'll see you soon. When Rackspace's live coverage from Austin continues, we'll show you the future in real time. Rackspace, backed by fanatical support, bringing you live coverage from South by Southwest daily. Hmm. So good, it hurts. The Open Cloud Experience.